In this video, I want to discuss with you Ghana's preparations for the game against Central Africa Republic. Yes, Ghana went to Mali and picked three crucial points. I stood there and I told you that if we did not win that game, there was no way Ghana was going to qualify and play the World Cup. And we did the unthinkable. We won by uh, two goals to one, a crucial goal by Jordan Ayew in the dying minutes of the game. That's proved to be Ghana's win Ghana's first win in 2024 and I mean we really thank God for that win we really thank the coaching team and everything for Ghana to win this game and the thing about the next game is Ghana is going to play against Central Africa Republic in Kumasi Babayara and the first thing I'm supposed to tell you is that Ghana hasn't lost in Kumasi for the past 25 years or so yes the last time Ghana lost in Kumasi I mean I can't really remember we don't lose in Kumasi Kumasi has become like I uh, mean, man, so I know that at least Ghana has to come from that game with a draw. This is something that we cannot afford to lose. I mean, in as much as we've been very bad in recent times, we should try and get at least a draw. But no, anyone was going to this game. I knew that Ghana is going to go for everything. But let me tell you more about Central African Republic, the team and what they have, and what the threat they can pose to Ghana. On the league log, Madagascar is first now. Madagascar is six points, but has two more goals. Ghana is third. With six points, and then Kumos also has six points with, I think, a goal defense or so. But I mean, the, the thing is, all that we all have six points, six points, six points. So it's fairly an open group. And Mali is fourth, and then Central Africa Republic is fifth. So Central Africa Republic has played three games so far. They have won one, they won against Chad, one goal to zero. And Chad is the last team in the group. So when they won one against one to zero against Chad, they went also to Mali and they got a crucial draw against Mali. And they lost one. No, they lost against Comoros. Comoros beat them 4 2. Yes, they lost against Comoros. Comoros beat Central Africa Republic by four goals to two. So that is their streak so far. It tells you how good they are. But the thing about this game is that Ghana, in the run in to qualify to the Africa Cup of Nations, Ghana played against Central Africa Republic in Kumasi and they scored the first goal. Yes, the match ended up being 2 1, but they scored the first goal. I remember they were wearing red, red, and I and they were wearing red, red. And the thing is, Chris Hilton was the coach of the, of the side, and I remember it took an individual brilliance from Mohamed Cruz to get us a, a freaky goal. and. Ghana had 1-1 in the first half and we ended up getting a goal from Enes Nyama and Nyama scored the second goal for Ghana to win the game against Central African Republic. And the thing is, after the game, their coach, the coach came out to say that he wasn't really happy about how Ghana won the game and he pro uh, he, uh, he prophesied or he pro uh, uh, he predicted that there wasn't any way Ghana was going to go far in the Afghan and it really happened. Ghana didn't go far. So the coach has a personal vendetta against Ghana because he thought he was cheated here way back in Kumasi. And so he's coming back again to revenge for that loss. And he really needs to win this game. And when Otoado was asked about this game, Otoado said that this game is going to be a game where it is really going to be difficult than even the Mali game because the coach has said he's going to beat Ghana and he wants to he wants to challenge Ghana. Yes. So this game has to be a game where Ghana has to stand for herself and play a very good game. So, moving into this game, Ghana has to do what it is possible to win this game. And we have to build upon the momentum. Ghana wasn't, you know, look, everybody thought that we would go and lose against Mali. So, let's take it as if we lost against Mali and put our all in the game against Central Africa Republic, beat them and beat them well. And I remember Otaro's last game in Kumase, it was, it was against Madagascar, it was Afenejan. And the likes and Kudus Mohamed, who got that three, three goal win against Madagascar. This match, we have to score at least three goals and we have to make sure we don't concede against Central Africa Republic. If we want to go to the World Cup and we are conceding against Central Africa Republic, what will happen if we meet the likes of the Ronaldo, the Lionel Messi, the likes of the big, big teams in, in world football, Germany and England? They get it. Yes. So we have to make sure we don't concede at home against Central Africa Republic. Otoado has to motivate the boys because we have to go in uh, go in all around, score goals from every angle. So, talking about Central Africa Republic, they, don't, they really don't have any star man in their team. Yes. They really don't have any star man in their team. And one thing that really pains me was when Otoado was our manager, when he was playing the Afghan qualifiers, he went to Central Africa Republic and folded a, a, a B team and then even that, Ghana got a draw away. Yes. That was the last game that Jonathan Mensah played for Ghana. 
So this time, feel your best best part and score the goals. Score the goals against Central African Republic. Mohamed Kudu scored back to back against them. He should score a goal. He, he should make an important. He should make an important statement against them that he's the West Western man. If you check the Central African Republic team, the only main man in their team is Geoffrey Kondogbia. I remember he used to play for Valencia. He played for um, Atletico Madrid when Thomas Partey left. And let's come and they try to sign him to come and play the party, but it didn't really, really work. We don't want to see Ge Geoffrey Kondubia to come and play to dominate anything. Canada needs to play this match very well and win it, win and win well. Yes, they don't have, I mean, they don't have to cause us problems. I think that going into the next game, Jordan Ayu should, should still start from the bench. And if there's anybody who's going to start this game, I think that it's probably going to be maybe Fatal Isaku should start a game. Probably, I don't know, I don't know. If we are supposed to probably make a change in the lineup, I think Fatal Isaku should probably find a way and get into this lineup. Apart from that, I think the same style of play that, play that I think the same team that played, but we should just adjust into it into an attacking formation. So this time, I don't expect us to play a, a five back. Maybe play a four, probably a four three three system with an attacking mindset. Attack these gay people. They don't. I mean, Central Africa probably the one more team man. Yes, show them goals. Do you understand? Yes. Put that team together, make a solid performance. Don't concede a goal. We need to see the best of Kudus Mohamed, the best of Semenyon. But I think it is going to be any change to the lineup that played against Mali. Maybe let's find a way for it. It's Haku Fatal to start the game. I, mean, I think he's probably going to do so well if he, if he's given a chance. I really don't know about Salis Salis Abdul Samed. I watched uh, Abu Francis in the game against, I think, Uganda and Nigeria. And the way he did very well, he did so well in that game. So if Abu Francis is available, let's get Abu Francis because in this game, we are not going to defend very much. Abu Francis should partner um, Thomas Step, I think, in the middle of the pack. Play your good moment, play your good moment as your number 10. And then play your wingers, uh, Fatal Saku, Nyama, and then probably uh, play uh, the likes of Evans and Semenyon or Brandon Thomas Asante, whoever to play number nine, Ghana is going to score this game. Typical 4 3 3 or typical 4 2 3 1. Attacking mindset, Ghana should go and attack and get more goals. Not forgetting that we have to play Tariq Lamptey or um, Tariq Lamptey. Or I think I think Gideon Musa can also suffer because Jerem Opoku can also play as a left fullback. That's one thing that people don't know. Jerem Opoku can also play as a left fullback. So we have to take notice of that and let him know that this game, this is a game that we're supposed to give us all. And I don't think there are any injury concerns in the camp. I think all the boys are really fit to play the game against the Central Africa Republic. I'm expecting a 10 out of 10 performance from them. And Ghana Blasters has to win the game. I mean, we have to put in all and win the game against Central Africa Republic. I just want only, only one tactical adjustment. Go into this game and go with, them, with an attacking mindset. Don't go and defend. All we need is... Make sure you find the, the spaces behind their back. Find some, you know, find whoever is behind and score more goals for Ghana to make sure we can win this game. I think the key player in this game for Blasters will probably be Alexander Jiku. He put in an amazing performance against Mali and he made sure he shut down Mali. If Ghana can win this game without conceding a goal, we want to see what Jiku and then Salisu will do in the middle of the pack. We also want to see what Thomas Partey, the key man, we saw any time in the game against him that when any time he was freed, he was able to find a forward pass. He was able to play an attacking game. So let's let let's also free Thomas Tai Partey. He can get a goal for Ghana too, with a shot to the pool. Let's also see what Kudus Mohamed will play. For me, I think Kudus Mohamed should probably play as a right winger. I don't think he has he has the he has the skill set to be an number 10. Yes, and, and in any way he's played, he has never played as a number 10. In Ajax, he was probably in the box or as a right winger or as a left winger. In uh, West Ham, he probably played as a winger, not as a number 10. I don't know why we want to, I don't know why he wants to play as a number 10, but even if he plays as a number 10 in this game, let him let him try and uh, impose himself on the game, show us that he's the West Ham man and score more goals also for Ghana in the game. I want Ghana to score more goals. It's, it's been a long time we saw Ghana score four or five goals against team. So, I mean, this is a game that we have to ride on the victory against Mali and score goals. For me, I'm predicting that this game is going to be a three goals with three zero win against. I'm predicting that this match is going to be a three zero win against Central Africa Republic. Ghana is going to make a statement win against Central Africa Republic, and I'm looking forward to seeing that game in Kumasi. So this win is such an important game for Ghana that we have to win, and Ghana Black Stars will probably be on course to qualify for the World Cup in USA and Canada.
Thank you for watching this video. I'd like to encourage you to share your views upon this game. What do you think about Otaru? What should Otaru do to change this game? Let me know about this in the comment section. The best is just to come. Bye for now.